Racing through the jungle. Everything all in sight. <laughs> the cheap price on these Eashin VR007 goggles have been enticing to me since the day I saw these. The only problem I had with these and the reason I didn't buy them earlier was because of the low resolution of 480 by 272 Now I'm used to flying with these Dominator HD2s and these have like 800 by 600 resolution. But for the price of these, I couldn't resist. And I'm anxious to see how these actually look because I think I'd like to recommend these for newbies to try because they're cheap price. But we gotta see how good or bad they are first uh, before I start telling people, hey, buy these goggles because I hate to tell them to buy them and then they're terrible. So let's see what this looks like in here. Uh, this comes with two batteries and, oh, here's the goggle itself. And it has the, uh, antenna built in. We'll go ahead and open this up and take a look. It has the antenna built into it and it has it looks like it has a single button. That's that's right. Oh no there's some buttons. Three more buttons on this side and a single button up on top and there's a screen protector inside on the screen which creates a little bit of bubbles. Uh, also inside here it comes with um, a little pack here. You get two of these nine volt looking batteries with the uh, power connector and a couple antennas. I'm going to open these up and we'll take a look. Uh, rubber duck antenna, cleaning cloth, and oh, a charger. Oh, this is the uh, USB charger for these batteries. They have a little USB plug down here on the bottom, a little mini USB. You could use your phone charger on there to charge them up. And they both come with the uh, little bullet plugs here to uh, charge on your. Uh, goggles to use your goggles to power them on so let me go ahead and get this thing hooked, put it set up and I'm gonna do a little bit of testing on it and then I'll tell you what I think of this and we'll uh, and I'm mostly comparing these against my Dominator HD 2 so we'll see, we'll see how these things fare so here are the goggles I got it set to a 4x3 screen and if I come up here close you can see here these are the options that you get with the uh, three buttons on the right and this is where you can change it to um, 16 by 9 or go back to 4 by 3 and so it switches like that now the one nice thing about these goggles is that the edges in here are very clear and especially compared to my HD2s now the resolution on this is pretty much horrendous but that's only comparing to these Dominator HD2s on here when I look at things I can see a lot of good details when you look in here it's just a lot of you know shapes that you're kind of seeing and not necessarily a lot of detail but then again you're only paying like 10% the cost of these things for these uh, goggles another thing is this uh, optical uh, little Fresno lens inside here is not adjustable forward or backward so you're kind of just get what you get unless you're gonna take it apart and do some kind of modification to it but overall, these things are actually surprisingly good. And, I th and the fact that it comes with two batteries is kind of cool too. So here's this on the, uh, on the strap here. The battery just connects in like that onto the strap and then it plugs into the um, little power connector that comes out of here. And so you only have the one connector. And so for goggles like this, these are actually pretty nice. They're not like the Quantums where they got the big sock over it and then the sock turns into a strap and goes over your head. These are a pretty. These are hard plastic and the uh, signal changing is done with this one here, this button here. And let me go ahead and change the channel on the uh, quadcopter and there it is. Okay, so now it's on a different channel. So you don't just push the button one time because it only changes one channel at a time. I guess you could. You can go through and just click this over and over and it's going through all the channels and maybe it'll find it. Or you can hold it down and it goes through quickly. And oh, there it was. And I, uh, yep, clicked it one more time and there it is. So changing channels is just one at a time. You have no idea what channel you're on on the goggles, but it doesn't matter because it's just searching through them anyway. And this has a 40 channel receiver so you can use the uh, Fat Shark channels or the Immersion RC channels, the Boss Cam, and also the uh, Race Band channel should work with this too. These, these are so surprisingly nice and actually function the way that I think a pair of goggles should. So taking a little closer look at these, these uh, head straps here, the ones that go around your head, are held in place with Velcro. 
this Velcro comes off like this. You can adjust a little bit tighter or looser, and uh, it's the same on both sides. Up here on the top, it has a just a uh, cloth strap, and this is not a stretchy one. This one is just designed to be tight. And then it has this little patch that goes on the back of your head. Uh, on these goggles here around the eye place, it has these pads, and these pads are actually replaceable. There's two parts to it. There's the lower half and then the upper half, and these they got these available in replacements. I've been carrying these around and having my kids try them on and see what they think of them. And the one thing I noticed about these is it feels like they're not going to break. I mean, I'm up here, this is like good quality plastic. You squeeze a little bit, it doesn't move, it doesn't bend. It feels like it's actually pretty high quality for, you know, as much as you're paying for it. Here I have both batteries plugged in. One's using the original USB cable and one is just using another one I had here at my house. And they're both plugged into the uh, USB ports on my laptop and they're charging. So this is what the battery looks like. It's an 800, it's a 2S battery and it has a little charge meter here on the side. If I make this a little bit darker, let's see if we can see it. Yep, there it is. It lights up and it just helps you figure out how full your battery is before you start using it. It is horribly windy, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to fly FPV anyway. This is the quadcopter I'm gonna be flying. This is my LS210, has 5030 props on it. I'll be flying with a 3S battery, and we'll see how this actually does. Now, since the goggles don't record, I won't be able to show you any onboard footage, but uh, I'll give you some ideas of what I think of these after I'm finished. So these goggles don't really stand up well against the Fat Sharks, but the Fat Shark HD2s are almost 10 times the price. And these, the resolution in here is fair. It would take a little bit of getting used to to uh, fly with the low resolution. Uh, seeing obstacles like tree branches was a little bit more tough. But I mean, if you're going to get started and you're like, I don't know if I want to spend the money on Fat Shark goggles, well, you could try these, and you're going to have an experience that's just fine. These goggles look a lot more pixelated. Like they have a low resolution you mean? Yep. These goggles are very very flyable and having the buttons out here makes them easy to navigate the screens. The middle one is the menu and one of these is up and one of them is down or forward and backward. This button up here all it does is changes the frequency that your uh, goggles are receiving on but these goggles are extremely nice. They're tough enough that you can toss them in your car and not have to worry about them getting broken. They're gonna take, if you drop a quadcopter on here, it's gonna take it like a champ. It's not gonna cause any damage to it. It would be uh, you know, susceptible to sunlight coming in here and the Fresnel lens amplifying the signal or the strength of the sun and frying your TV screen. But you kind of run into that with anything. Even your Fat Shark goggles are the same way. But these goggles, like I said, they're, they're cheap enough that you can get started and they are great fly along goggles later if you upgrade to something better. The only problem with them is the resolution is kind of low, but for the cost and the price that you're paying for them, it, it's almost a no-brainer to even start with these. If you, got, if you buy a pair of these, you're going to easily be able to get your money back out of them. Somebody would, somebody would probably be glad to buy these from you. They won't have to wait till they ship, they'll just have it right away. and. I don't know. You'll probably be able to get your money back if you decide you don't like these. In the fact, it comes with two batteries is nice. They're only 800 uh, mAh each, but you know you got two of them, so you'd be all right. You can also bring along an extra 2S battery with an adapter, a bullet plug adapter, and you can plug it into this and and run it, you know, just fine through here too. Wouldn't be any big deal. And also, if you're flying at the flying field, you can take this and plug it in your car charger for your phone and charge it back up while you're using the other one. Anyway. These are the Eashine VR 007 goggles. If you have any questions about these, be sure to leave them in the comments and I'll try to help you out as best I can. And as always, thanks for watching. I feel like I'm in a movie theater.